Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and in today's video I'm going to be talking about uterine fibroids. So what are uterine fibroids? So fibroids are tumors made of connective tissue as well as muscle that are found in the wall of the uterus. Now I know you might be thinking, oh my god, tumors? Ah, that's really, that's really bad. Well, most uterine fibroids are actually non-cancerous. It's very rare for them to be cancerous, although that can happen. Uterine fibroids can grow as a single nodule or they can grow in clusters and they vary in size they can be really really tiny and no one will notice them they can be a little bit bigger they can grow and grow and cause symptoms and then they can be huge it's pretty easy to go online if you want to type it in and look up uterine fibroids and you often see like the worst case scenario but usually they are quite small in size and a lot of people don't know they have them and it's only through like routine checkups that they might be discovered so we'll talk a little bit more about that later but i did want to talk about the three different types because there are different types of uterine fibroid so the types are based on the location of the fibroid so the first type of uterine fibroid is one that grows within the uterine wall the second type of uterine fibroid is when it grows in the wall but it projects into the uterus and i'll put pictures up so you guys can see what i mean by this the third type of uterine fibroid is when it grows on the uterus but it actually projects out of the uterus so it projects into like the abdominal cavity basically it's like on the outer surface of the uterus so approximately 70 ish percent of people will have a fibroid before the age of 50. And black women and menstruators are actually three times more likely to develop fibroids. If you have someone in your family that has fibroids, it's a good possibility that you might also experience fibroids. And there's also um, seems to be a connection with diet. So people that eat a diet that is very high in red meat um, or people that drink a lot of alcohol may also be predisposed to developing fibroids. Doctors seem to think that it, there is like an estrogen connection. So people with higher estrogen might be more predisposed um, to growing fibroids and age is also a factor as well and so fibroids are actually quite common and oftentimes they do resolve on their own usually they go away by menopause however fibroids can grow and get worse and they can cause symptoms so not everyone will have their fibroids just magically resolve oftentimes they progress and they grow um, and they do cause symptoms so the symptoms of fibroids um, if you have a fibroid that is causing you symptoms would be like painful periods as well as heavy periods obviously if you're having like a fibroid that is pushing into your uterus that can cause some issues if you're having a fibroid that's growing and pushing on the outer surface of the uterus and that's like affecting other organs like pff, that's gonna have some symptoms as well and so pain is definitely like a major symptom some people might experience pain when they have sex depending on where the uterine fibroid is uh, some people might experience like pressure on their bladder so they might need to urinate more frequently uterine fibroids can also cause um, spotting so if you are spotting throughout your cycle it could be caused by fibroids if you're ever having like any of these symptoms um, pain heavy periods pain when you have sex spotting you know frequent urination anything like that even just pain in general please go to a doctor and get it checked out there's a lot of things that could be going on and fibroids is just one of those things and it's so important to in investigate the cause if you're struggling with any of these symptoms now if you are struggling with these symptoms and you do go and talk to your doctor they might or order an ultrasound and the treatment um, of fibroids it really depends on the placement it depends on the symptoms that you're experiencing and it also depends on other factors like if you want to conceive because uterine fibroids they can be really tough to extract depending on what's going on in your body um, especially if they're protruding inside of your uterus um, removing them could potentially like disrupt the uterine lining it could disrupt the uterine as just the muscle itself and that um, that can cause some issues with possibly conceiving in the future so that's why it's super super important to talk to your doctor about the options i really want you to know that if you're struggling with fibroids like you're not alone i'll put some resources in the description of this video so that you can find um, websites that are dedicated to uterine fibroids and like what to expect and what treatment can look like because there's a lot of different treatment options you can also find like support groups um, and then you can also just uh, hear about other people's stories and stuff like that. And these resources that I'm going to be sharing, they also have some information on how to get support from your healthcare provider. I hope you learned a little bit in this video. I hope you now understand what uterine fibroids are and what to be aware of if you think you might be 
struggling with one or maybe a cluster of them and I just really appreciate you watching this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and as always your cycle matters so much and I'm here for you and I'll see you in the next video bye